And we are live. Hey there. How's everyone doing today? It's a good day, Google Plus, and we're, we've actually got a great day again because I've got some wonderful guests for you today. It's our uh, almost Christmas party, you know, something like that, and, you know, we're getting close to the holiday season, so I thought I'd throw that in, and uh, we have a little holiday cheer in our show as well today, but it's also more of a social media extravaganza today. You know, my shows run different. You never know who's going to be on or how the combination of guests are going to hit. So today I happen to have a lot of social media rock stars on with me. And if you have questions about that or anything they talk about or just anything in general with anything they do or shows you've seen them on, please feel free to ask them. Ask them in the comments section and uh, we'll highlight them and we'll get to them and uh, we'll do our best to answer everyone's question. But we're here to have a good time today. That's what Good Day Google Plus is all about. So I'll start introducing uh, my guests and then we'll go from there and see what happens. So I'm just going to start on my side and we will start with Alexandra. Alexandra, and is that Reiki Gonzalez? Is that correct? Or it's it's Riki Gonzalez. Riki Gonzalez. Nice okay. try, though. Generally, I just tell everybody to call me Alex. It works out better. <laughs> okay, Alex is good. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do on and off Google+. Um, well, on Google+, Plus, I'm known most for uh, working for SEO-wise. Uh, I'm technically called a brand strategist. I basically... I'm the voice of the brand. I run the brand, um, but I also do my own personal profile on the side. Off of Google+, Plus, I am both a graduate student and um, a teacher, so that is part of the reason that I'm wearing these. Um, I'm going to be bringing them into my classroom next term, so that'll be interesting. What do you teach? I teach everybody's favorite course, uh, Intro to hum Human Communication, which is basically public speaking. Everybody has to take it. <laughs> They're going to be on Hangouts now, so they, they need to have that, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. If, if I can get them all to sign their waivers, yes, they will be. You will be seeing them on live Hangouts. Well, I'm, I'm glad you brought your glass with you today too. That's that's great. I, I do have to eventually get a pair of those, so. Uh, I might be dangerous with them, though. That's they the look good on you, Chef. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I wonder if we can get them fitted with, like, uh, regular glasses, too. That would be a help, you know. Yeah. Have them they have they them are. Them. I've seen they're working on the prescription. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. That would be great. And I, and I saw a pup back there uh, behind you a little while ago. Who's your little doggy friend there? Well, I have two. One of them is outside because he's kind of a nutter. Uh, but it's a uh, Sandy. She's my golden retriever. She's okay. about six, so she's she's the calm one. So she's allowed in the room. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I love dogs, so that's not never a problem on my show. <laughs> I might even start howling with them if they start. So you never know. <laughs> I haven't howled in a long time. My chef days, I hate to bring that up, but every now and then I would howl. And I, and I, I am of Mexican descent, and uh, most of my staff was Mexican. And I remember the first time I howled in front of them, one of them turned around and went, Coyote. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so then I enjoyed doing it more from that point on. But every now and then, and the waitresses got used to it. They'd, they'd hear it, and they oh, that's just the chef. Don't worry. You know. <laughs> well, chef, I think we heard a rumor that you were you were howling or something on me a show uh, just a little bit ago. Were you? <laughs> it, it was more like howling, I think, than singing. Uh, uh, and, and I expressed my sincere apologies to uh, Ted Nugent before I started the song. Too. <laughs> so if the Motor City Madman would ever like to come on my show and sing it correctly, he'd be more than welcome. <laughs> and I put on a cowboy hat. I didn't want to go with his, his typical loincloth because I just don't have the body for it anymore. Oh, so. my goodness. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Not a picture you want in your mind. I understand. <laughs> Sorry to do that to you. Very good. <laughs> All right, Logan, it's your turn. Let's get stuff in the face of segue. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, I'm I'm Logan Lynn Roberts. Um, I live here in Philadelphia. Uh, real, uh, I'm a realtor. Um, a little bit less so these days. Um, I do a lot of uh, social media consulting. Um, I more recently have been um, getting into uh, some marketing, some affiliate marketing, um, working with some different brands. Um, for the most part, I've always just kind of um, you know connected people. And, and brought people together. So that's that's kind of what I'm working on now. Well, you know, it's winter and the holidays and and real estate slow. Um, and getting back into it. My my background's in um, in PR um, as well. So um, that's what I'm doing here in Philly. Um, and uh, yeah, just enjoying Google Plus 
um, engaging as much as I can. Uh, I hit 5,000 followers this week. I was very excited. Yay. My first circle share. It was very exciting. It was very exciting. <laughs> That's a big point. I remember. You know, it really yeah. is. And. Uh, yeah. I um I really hadn't done anything at all before you know really you know you know everybody has a strategy or something and I I really hadn't done anything so there was my first circle share and just you know I mean it got got pretty exciting. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Pretty exciting. And, and how are you loving Philadelphia? Uh, I love Philadelphia, Chef. I I can't believe I never knew you while you were here, right? I know, I know. There's so many people all of a sudden have popped up on Google Plus that are that are circling me now. We're making it's friends me. with them. No. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I do miss Philly uh, for the food, for the yeah. bread, for you know, for certain things, and you the know, the food here is amazing, isn't it? Oh, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to call out my favorite restaurant. Um, oh my God, my mind just went blank. Um, <laughs> Where? Okay. Uh, it's uh, oh geez, I'll have to come back to it. it he has two yeah. restaurants actually. Uh, let me think of it for a minute. Cause Go ahead, mind. come back. When, when you get old, you know, you forget things. There's no, so much. Not, there's I so much stuff up thing. here. The I, I had it. I had it on the, my ready to say it, and then as soon as I went to say it, it went away. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> Philly is such a great eating town, and, and one of my favorite ones. What the food is, you know, you may not think of it as is uh, Mama Maria's too over on Passyunk. If you just want to have a lot of fun. So you know, past Young Square is really, I mean, oh, it's really, it's a hot really known up. Yeah, I love it over there. Um, they have that state side is a fantastic restaurant. I don't mm -hmm. know if you ever got there before you left, um, but the cantina has been there for a while, and mm -hmm. um, house um, home prices are rising over there. A lot of people oh, are yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. South Philly is pretty, lot. pretty hot. So um, it's a great town. And Speaking yeah. of pretty hot, though, how cold is it today? I heard you are getting some good weather. Chef, it's it's always sunny here. You know that. <laughs> yeah, I watched that show. It really I, is. I, I tried, and I, I kept looking at it going, oh, that's not Philadelphia. No, the show is terrible. But <laughs> show is terrible. The show is not a good representation, but it really is. I mean, okay, so I'll, I'll preface that by saying I'm from upstate New York, like, you okay. know, really far upstate. So, you know, um, not western New York like uh, Mr. Hilarski, but like north, north, um, past Albany. So when it gets cold there and it snows, you, the snow stays, you know. And we get it out of the roads quickly um, and everything, but um, it stays. Here in Philly, we have no idea how to get it out of the road, but the next day it either rains or the sun comes out and it melts. So so that's a good thing. But, um well I was mentioning in the la on Mia's show that we did hit a cold spell here, and it actually was down in the 40s a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it was rough, but I mean, the first day we got it, I think it was 60, and I was telling a friend from Boulder, and she she says, I, I'm going to call you a name I don't say in front of my children. Uh, oh, and, but I told her, but, the, what, but no, no, really, it was cold with the wind chill. It was 55. Um, <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, so. and then she got out the violin, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, uh, I'm, uh, my I family in Tampa, I'm going to be there, um, try to be there as much of January as possible, Chef. Great. So we we'll have to, got to take this off Google+. Plus. You know that's Wade Harmon's thing, right? Mm -hmm. Right? He, went, he says, take it to the next level. So we'll have, we'll have to do that. <laughs> and, and luckily, my wife was listening in, and she saw my mental lapse, and the uh, restaurants we were talking about was Mark Vetri's Austria. Oh, God. Vetri. Um, you know, I've never been to actually Vetri, right? The mm -hmm. one that's like, what, $300 a person or something? Yeah, I have not Nine either, courses. He has a new place called Alaspina, um, mm -hmm. and it's on North Broad, uh, wow. where, where Burt Greenfield's doing a bunch of development. And and um, it's like it's craft beer and then a lot of pork and oh, yeah. it's oh, awesome. he, he loves pork. I, yeah. we, we, last time we were there, they were serving the the baby the, or the the head of the pig. Yeah, but uh, I was told uh, in no uncertain terms. Yeah, no uncertain terms that I was not allowed to order that. So head cheese. You know what? Um, I'm like I said, I'm from upstate New York. We you know we I mean my grandmother used to make she used to have head cheese like it was from a pig that we mm -hmm. I mean I've been around head cheese so although yeah. you know well, what we didn't have that I love here is um you know what I'm thinking of that it's not bacon it's not sausage pan pancetta or what no what's that stuff <laughs> that'll come to me too it's like a pork product mm -hmm. scrapple oh only, scrapple it's only in Pennsylvania what is well, scrapple well, so we it's don't amazing. know, and you don't want to know. If you enjoy it, no, just keep I, I mean, eating it. Yeah, yeah, I have, uh, yeah, no, uh, no false pretense, but yeah, I mean, it, it's delicious, but it's only here, mm -hmm. only here. Absolutely. 
<laughs> I know my wife misses that. I, I was not a Scrapple fan, but she does yeah. like Scrapple. Oh, so. Scrapple. I'll have to go. All right, well, let's move yeah. right along on that note, and I'm going to take us to, uh, we're in Panama now, I think, with Randy and Annabelle mm -hmm. Hilarski. So thank you so much for coming on today and taking some time to be with us. And uh, however you want to run this, whoever wants to go first, but let's, you know, it's your yeah. turn to, to shine. <laughs> Yeah, we, we argued over who was going to go first. So <laughs> I heard you a little bit, but uh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she went. Let, she doesn't want to go first. So okay, so you know, I moved down here three years ago. Uh, the, the move is actually complete. My house just sold in Rochester, closing Rochester, New York. Closing is on uh, January 28th. So uh, all my connections to the U.S. except for my family are now cut. Thank God. Are you going <laughs> to Rochester guys, in but... January to close, Randy? You guys. What's that? Are you guys going to be in New York for the closing in January? No, I, I signed over everything to my mother. She nice. said she's been nice. it. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm not a, a you know I, I'm an expat for a reason. I, I don't you know I don't agree with everything that our country is doing. So I moved out and I, I have my wonderful wife and uh, we have a nice life down here in Panama. Um, I consider myself a mediapreneur and we do some fun stuff, curating people, doing our ad exchange and so many things and. And Anna's really stepping up lately with her graphic design. She is really blowing me out of the water with the stuff that she's making. Like you see, our our um, overlay. Over, overlay Anna made that. So great stuff. Go ahead. I I love it, and and the palm tree might have to find its way into my uh my new design too. <laughs> Exactly. I'm going. You know, we go in the house here sometimes, and my wife says it looks like Florida threw up in our in our house because everything we're getting furniture-wise is very Floridian. You know, or, you know. and I, I wanted to get the lamp with the monkeys on it, and she says, oh, "No, no, 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 no." So. <laughs> Your wife's from Philadelphia, right? In yes, Philadelphia. she is. Yes, she yeah. went to Girls High, and she is right. a true Philadelphian, and she is having a little trouble with the relocation. Although every day she looks out and sees blue skies, and yeah. when there are clouds, they're nice and fluffy, and it's it's just that kind of takes the edge off of it. Yeah, so we'll, no. we'll, hopefully, we'll acclimate by summer when it's going to be you know a lot hotter, and uh, then. But I always tell her that's you know that's why God invented air conditioning. We just stay in the house. Yeah. So. So uh, tell us a little bit more about it, about your ad uh, ad edge. What is it now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. Uh, edge ad exchange. Uh, ad exchange. Here we go. Yeah, we've been working on it for um, a year and a half. Uh, people think it's just an ad exchange. They you know they make judgments about it. I have no clue what we're doing. We brought together every large ad exchange, including Google, Facebook, everything you could think of under one roof. We're crushing it. RTB real time bidding is going to be the new buzzword here in the next six months mm -hmm. to a year. Everyone's going to want to be part of it, um, so we're way ahead of the game. We're the only affiliate network out there that offers it, so uh, we're really excited. We're working with our programmers right now to, um, you know, make it so it's uh, easier and easier to use. Every couple of weeks we bring out something to make it easier, and uh, very exciting times for Anna and I and Ralph Kaiser and everyone else that's involved. So uh, you know, if you guys are interested, in, just contact us. Let us know. We're totally open. We'll tell you everything you need to know. Mm -hmm. um, we're really gonna. Anna and I are really gonna hit the Spanish community. Obviously, my wife's Spanish and um, mm -hmm. or Spanish speaking. <laughs> yeah. Not Armenian, but Spanish speaking. <laughs> so uh, that we're really gonna stick with the, the Spanish speaking community. Well, is this something that food bloggers would use or could use to make yeah. money instead of some of these groups that we that we uh, that torture us? Everybody can use it. Yeah, yeah, anybody can work with us. Yeah, say that you are you have like 30, 40 food bloggers that you talk to on a, on a constant basis, mm -hmm. and they're all looking for traffic to their sites. They can run ads, whatever kind of ad you want. An ad can be anything, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's the nice thing about it. You're not spamming anybody. You're running an ad. And uh, because you're getting them at wholesale prices, you're not paying the full retail price that you would at some of the other direct ad exchanges. We're not going to name names. Mm -hmm. So uh, you go out there and you get your stuff everywhere, and people you drive traffic to your site. Whether you're a realtor like Logan or yourself, mm -hmm. a food blogger, um, Mia ran it to get people to her show, and you know she, I think she spent like ten bucks and and uh, had really? over yeah she got like 180 visitors to her show. Like a dollar a day, right? Yeah, yeah. a buck a day is what it was what she was a spending. Buck a day. Wow. Across it's and it's across all four platforms, right? Uh, yeah. It, um, oh, well. We have we have the the basic platform which is for reach, and then we have the, the premium platform which is um, picking a perfect profile of a client and yeah. going after that profile. You want a specific customer, age, ge you know, geographical, you know, um, what kind of sites they use, keywords. It's it's much more than the traditional um, 
ad exchanges that you've seen. It, Google's leaving. Google's also going this way. So uh, it's exciting times. And um, I, I don't know what to, you know, you guys could read my post, but I don't want to go too much into it because it is kind mm -hmm. of technical. But overall, it's just it's a really fun thing to be a part of. And I thank Ralph Kaiser that he, he brought me on. He's a very successful man, and he thought of me first. And uh, Anna and I have really become friends with him. And then Mia came up, came on board. Mia was our, our first real socialite <laughs> that came on board. And she just started talking. And so the, the team's grown to a little over 25 now. So uh, it's pretty cool. Sounds like a really great idea, a great concept. I mean, I definitely want to learn more about this and something. Maybe we can even do a, a, you know, an event for my food bloggers too to get them to understand it. Because I know people were, were playing with the at, with the, the Facebook, and now that you know Facebook, uh, like I said in the last show, they're, they're blowing a couple more toes off that foot. They keep shooting themselves in the foot. Um, and, yeah, it is a shame. You know, uh, you think a guy with that much money would just say, "Screw it, I'm gonna." You know, I'm just going to torture Google Plus and give everything away for free. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this, and that's his legacy. And instead, he's driving it into the ground. Uh, but you know, that's that's either there. here or there. Still there, in yeah. silence. So. Yeah. But yeah, but this sounds like a really interesting way to help us achieve more traffic. And uh, you know, we even through sponsors, you know, having them getting money for them to help us drive it, uh, in kind of a good way to barter some different business too. I think so. Great. Yeah, and, and the good thing is that we work with different languages, Spanish, English, Portuguese, uh, I think Japanese also. Japanese, Russian. The Russian, you know, it's excellent. That's what I, I'm yeah, working cool. with the Spanish community. <laughs> oh, that, that's an that's an excellent uh, way to look at it too, because usually we're limited, and Google Plus has made us global, and mm -hmm. that's the one of the things that I love about Google Plus as much is that you know we're no longer limited to a small area to draw from, you know, not a small area, but I mean, but a selective area, because more and more people are coming on around the world, and they're going to keep coming on, and being able to deliver something to them in their own language would be a wonderful thing. Well, that translate button, it, well, the, it, on Google, the translate button yep. is awesome. I mean, you know, you think you think that you know that you wouldn't want followers that that are in a different language, but also you push one button, and, and I mean, it's I mean, it could be completely wrong. I guess I wouldn't know, but I mean, people are in full-on conversations. I mean, I have streams, comment streams that are in all different languages. I it wrote an article really about this. Awesome. I wrote an article about it. Was about a month ago. I called Google Plus the new Tower of Babel. Because yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> That's good. Yep. They don't even speak your language. You're speaking to someone in Arabic. Mm -hmm. They press translate. They're translating from English to Arabic. And by the way, Craig Fivefield, what's up, brother? He's, you know. <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah, so yeah. everybody loves Craig. Are you part of the Craig army? Yeah. <laughs> I am. I am. I put, on your last show, I posted the Craigs with the Sriracha. Remember that? Yes. There I think he gets mad at me, but I, I mean, I loved it. Well, I posted some. I saw and I, I, I put it for him, and it was James Fierce, I think, that was also yep. in love with the sriracha. And I'm trying to get rid of this. There we go. And uh, a friend of mine, a blogger friend, had made sriracha salt, mm. uh, you know, uh, for seasoning, and it looked great. And I'm thinking, oh, that's right up their alley. Now, me, you know, I, I don't eat too much too spicy anymore. Uh, I was never a real big adventurer, but as you get older, things change too. So you know, just don't eat as spicy as I used to. <laughs> he loves his sriracha. Yeah. Logan, I wanted to ask you a question too. I saw something this morning, and since you're a realtor, uh, it was about real estate posts and how changing things because of the hummingbird and the way Google is approaching brands versus real people, that they're going to be losing the, how they show up in, in, in search. Have you seen anything with that? or? I did, you know, I didn't see anything with that. Um, I'm wondering, well, so, and well, what I did see was, um, oh God, and I'm not, and I'm going to forget his last name, the semantic search guy, What it starts with the name. David Amerlin. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I saw his last post, I guess it was yesterday, um, and it, like, there were four words that started with V, but basically, <laughs> right, and but the, basically the idea was all the different things that it could do in the end, like even update events and things like that. Um, like it, it was like if you had changed a time for an event, Google, you know, Google would go in and change it and all that. Um, I didn't see, I wonder why, I'm, I'm just trying to kind of deduct why that would be, like, 
changing, you know, because there's just a lot of a lot of stuff that they push out constantly. I know. I didn't read the whole article. I should have. I was pressed for time, but I saw it in a little. I apologize. Really I didn't really see interesting. it. Really interesting. Yeah, I, I even forget where I saw it. It had to be on Google Plus because that's yeah. the only place I get information anymore. You know, sadly, um, the real estate stuff just doesn't uh, doesn't get me get me as excited as the as the search and the and mm -hmm. the social media anymore. So um, I haven't really stayed up other you know other than Philly in development. Mm -hmm. Which there's a lot, but um, yeah, I don't know. That's okay. interesting. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, it, luckily I have friends in, in all different aspects of Google Plus, so I, I get a whole, I get a wide variety, and I've gotten a lot of lawyers following me lately. I was wondering about that. So. Lawyers are all <laughs> over social media. Yeah. I, yeah, I just got a new lawyer. Uh, you know, they have a lot of published works. They're they're doing a lot of social media. They have a lot of content already. So they're used to they're used to creating content. Yeah, a friend of mine had mentioned to me she is an attorney in, in the Philadelphia area, and uh, she said, "Oh, Dennis, we love to write." And I'm like, "Yeah, they yeah, do." I never, I never thought of that. Yeah. yeah, no, they're always doing it. They have to. So yeah, they have a bunch of stuff. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I don't know, but you know the thing about realtors, um, definitely Google Plus is such an incredible tool because you know there's so much many of us and. No one kind of streamlines, even if you're in a team or you're in an office. I mean, everybody's doing their own thing. And, uh, you know, I, I really look forward to seeing, you know, how, you know, how, how realtors will start to use it because they're really kind of, unfortunately, a lot of times we're kind of like the, you know, almost like the, you know, infomercial sort of marketers. I mean, it's very outbound and it's very loud. And um, I, don't, I don't see a lot of them on Google+. Plus. I really don't. But uh, once they, but uh, you know, it's an excellent platform. I mean, think about how great, uh, you know, how wonderful Google is for pictures and video. I mean, they t they take care of it for you, um, you know. And a lot, you know, a lot of times people aren't doing their own professional photos, you know, especially if the market's not that good or or the, or the property isn't that expensive. You're not getting a, a photographer in. I mean, there's, you know, you could you can put. You can put four photos up just in your cover photo in Google, whereas you know you just can't do that anywhere else. Well, these days, even with with realtors, I would think, or you know, any business group like that, if they wanted to set up their own uh, uh, community, yeah. And when people wanted to look at a house, they could go to the community to look at it too. I mean, you, I mean, everybody's got a smartphone now. You walk around the house with your smartphone, take a quick video. Uh, you know, there's there's so much they exactly. could do. You exactly, know? I know. Yeah. That's actually something um, when I was testing out Hangouts with my Google Glass, uh, I was testing it out with um, the person I work with, John Ellis, and he was like, oh my god, can you imagine this for real estate? I was like, no, because I don't do real estate, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's video and picture. Um, yeah, you know, I don't I don't see a lot of people, people on, so... Um, but yeah, I I worked I uh, I work for I, I don't know if you know Allen Dom Real Estate though, and we're not multiple listed, so we're our system's a little bit different. Um, I don't take a lot of listings. I, I just kind of basically work with Allens. So I so it's not you know something that really works for me right away. Mm -hmm. um, but it definitely works for other people for sure. Well, but, we have you here too. We have a question for you. Uh oh. James Jerley wants to know, are you connected with uh, Pam's Voss, who runs HOAs and property, to show people around remotely? No, or not at all. Better? Well, now you have something you can research. HOAs her. and property. So she's right on site, she must be. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, yeah. but it's uh, a nice question. Thanks for that, yeah. uh, James. Thanks, James. And That's I also want to call out real quick, too, uh, Luke Jal... I'm going to butcher your last name, Jalwa. This guy's... he's great. Okay, uh, France is here and listening. Thank you so much for being here. And it is our little blue planet. I keep, uh, I, I go in, being that we're down here in Florida and everything, and I'm a Disney nut now. Uh, you know, every time I go in, it's a small world. I, I, I think of Google Plus now too, because we've yeah. really made it a smaller world. Luke is um, an, an awesome, awesome engager. Um, he he's he's a, he's a big fan of Mia's. I know he's always on that show, and uh, he helped me a lot with my with my circle share this week. So thanks so okay. much. For <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Speaking of hangouts, we did one last week when we were in Costa Rica at the bed and breakfast. I remember. Yeah, and Anna went through, or actually, no, I went through with my computer, you know, because I didn't have a phone with me, but I was going through and showing the whole bed and breakfast while Anna was doing the hangout. How yeah. cool. You know, it's it's so awesome, this possibility that we have now. <laughs> I know. 
They must have had great internet too. That's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was really fast. You guys it was fast. You went. Yeah, it was about two, two times as fast as our speed that we have here at the house. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you guys have yeah, it's tough over there. It's great. So tell us a little bit about life in Panama and uh, just how things are. I'm always interested to see how everyone lives when they're somewhere else. You know, and uh, how are well, things there? I, when I first came here, I, I worked. Uh, I, I became partners with some German Germans out of um, you know they're, they're ex bankers, and we were selling metals and storing them in Switzerland and things like that. And I was doing all the marketing for them. Uh, they partnered with me to do all their social social media, and that's actually how I got into Google Plus. Uh, I saw the possibilities of it. We jumped on it right away, my partners and I, and uh, really took it to the next level. We did about about seven hundred thousand dollars in sales in my first year just on just off the internet, not just Google Plus. I don't want to say it's just Google Plus, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, we we did a lot of sales in that, and um, after about what about a year and a half, um, we started another thing called Escape Artist Panama, and you know, so I was juggling all these marketing things, and I said, you know what? I can do this on my own. I don't need partners. So uh, <laughs> I went on my own, and it, it's it's been great ever since. Now I don't have to go to an office anymore. Uh, Anna and I work from home. Anna was our company secretary, and I, I, I stole her too. And um, <laughs> smart guy, lucky guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. So, so it's been really wonderful. We were living in the city. We had a beautiful 18th floor, brand new condo, looking out over the park. Trump Tower was in front of us, and um, uh, you know I'm not a city guy. Uh, I don't like living in the city. My wife is. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> but now we're 30 minutes outside the city, up in the mountains, and, and I like this much better. You know, every night we don't need a, we don't even need AC anymore. Just open up the windows, the breeze, and having a fan going is all we need. It's it's absolutely beautiful. So. That's you know, horrible. Sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the good thing about living in this area that we eat healthier. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. not within walking distance of five star restaurants anymore, okay? Yeah, no <laughs> cheesesteaks, no cheesesteaks, no. <laughs> well, the good thing about that, you might lose the five star restaurants, but you lose all the fast food too, I'm sure, so you're eating more natural. Exactly. Yeah, we go like investment, you know? My investment, yeah. I'm kind. I'm kind of. Down. I keep asking them to adopt me, and they, and they won't. So I don't know. I <laughs> I, want, I, I want to go. You know, guys, what I wanted to ask about, Randy, you were telling me how you had to cross the border, uh, or some border to Costa Rica, and there was like a there was a bridge or something. How did that all go? <laughs> so so every uh, people expats in Panama for for people from the U.S. We get six month visas. Mm -hmm. After six months, you have to cross the border. You have to go to Costa Rica or Colombia or back to the U.S. to renew your visa if you want to live here. Well, even though Anna and I have been married almost a year and a half, I mm -hmm. still haven't done my residency in Panama paperwork. We will start that soon, I promise. <laughs> so I get my Panama passport. But uh, I still have to cross the border. So we went into Costa Rica, and there's two crossings that you can go. You can go the Paso Canoa, which is the one where all the trucks go, the real popular one, all the buses. It's a pain in the ass. I'm just going to say that. The border agents are real jerks. They're not friendly, and they don't like Americans. You know, they, they, they treat us like crap. So I said, you know what, let's try something different. Let's go to the Caribbean side. So we went to um, Guavito, or pa Paso Sexiola, it's called. It's right on the. It's right where Chiquita Banana Plantation is. It's real remote. It's the old bridge that Chiquita Banana used to use to bring their bananas to the port. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, so old. Scary. Scary, yeah, exactly. So, That's so what you're saying. It's like one person at a time, right? Oh, my God, no. no yeah, we do. A, it, was, it was a blast. We, we still had a total, yeah. a, it was a total blast. And we got to stay at a wonderful B&B on the Caribbean side instead of being on the Pacific side or San Jose, Costa Rica, which is ugly as hell. I, I don't like that place. Yeah, me either. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it was a wonderful experience crossing the bridge and going into the kind of area. I loved it. Very cool. Oh, it must be nice. You know, I'm 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 close to paradise here in Florida, but that must really be paradise. Down uh, there. Direct flights, direct flights to Tampa now. With, with I'm Tampa telling Island. you, I'm oh, telling okay. you, once once we get settled here, I do want to do a little more traveling again and, and get out and meet. And and I would like us. I was talking to someone this morning about you know we, we need to we need to have our own conference. We need a G plus conference somewhere. We need to really get people working on that. <sighs> Wasn't yeah. somebody saying a cruise? Like, yeah, they had been cruise. talking about a cruise for a while, and then another uh, Las Vegas was like a, a point uh, oh, for wow. us to go to. You no, know, only because I guess it might be less expensive there than some other places, getting hotels or whatever. I don't know. Depends. 
<laughs> Depends. Maybe I've never I'm... been. <laughs> I've never <laughs> been to Vegas, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> Well, uh, I know I, I actually I sold um, I sold destination weddings in uh, St. Thomas for about eight months, like uh, a couple years out of college, in between a couple things, and it was the Caribbean. And there's nothing like the Caribbean. Oh yeah, it's incredible, incredible. Every day, you just wake up and um, oh, yeah, it was beautiful. Blue water and iguanas, I remember, like and uh, wildlife, and it was cool. It was very cool. I thought I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I think I just should have stayed. I think I, I think I was on the right path. <laughs> Let's see. We have a, another few comments here. Let me post up here. Billy Funk, awesome panel. Thank you so much. I'm glad yeah. he's uh, we're all on the same show. Looking good, everyone. So that was very nice. Thank you, Billy, and thanks for, for being here today. <laughs> He's the best. And here's uh, James Deersley also put up. So excuse me for saying, uh, but I'll be running an HOA soon talking about real estate and using G+, probably early January. Cool. Might, might want to join in the film strip, Logan Lynn. Uh, yeah, I would love to. You know what I would love? You know, I feel like, um, I don't, and maybe it's just because it's what I'm interested, but I mean, I feel like we're all talking about social media. So I'm interested to see how it starts to, to branch. You know, I think that the, the platform really got started with developers and, and you know it's just kind of, it stayed in that realm which I love, but um, you know it's there's just so much you know there's I feel like it's going to branch out and I'm and I'm interested to see, for sure. Absolutely, there's so much we can do with it. And here's uh, Luke also posted. Thank you so much for the shout out and compliments, Logan Lynn Roberts. She's honored and gratitude for what you said. <laughs> I'm sure it's well deserved, Luke. It was, it really was. Okay. So what? So what else is going on in the world and in life? Anybody like to? Yeah, I want to know what Alexander is going to. You know, you say you're a teacher, Alexander. Yes. How, are you going to, how are you going to use that in your classroom? Um. So that's actually a really good question. Um. I still have to work through it with my advisor, who has been awesome in the whole process. Um. We even had to talk to the university lawyers, and it was so funny because. Um, as Chef Dennis probably probably knows, they only give you seven days to decide whether or not you're going to accept the invitation to get Google Glass. So I went to my advisor and I was like, look, we have seven days to figure out if we can do this. Because if I couldn't bring it into my classroom, there really wasn't a point for me to drop the cash to buy these. Like, they're awesome. I really wanted the toy. I'm not going to lie. But if you're not going to do anything with them, it's kind of pointless. Might as well wait. Um, but what I really want to do is just take my classes and do um, once a week do a 10 to 15 minute hangout on air with someone obviously on Google Plus because those are the people that do hangouts on air and I just want to relate how communication has affected them in their lives and in their business and obviously if they're on Google Plus if they can do an HOA it, it did something for them um, so it's really a way to connect academia with what's out there because academia up till this point uh, it's really depressing they've kind of separated themselves and um, I think it's really hurt a lot of their grant money a lot of their funding so I think to connect academia back with regular people uh, would be awesome I can't wait to see it I want to see what you know the, the future of hangouts is so bright and, and because it's connected to Google+, Plus, obviously people are going to be coming over here like in droves. And uh, we're already seeing the migration happen. And I think that glass is just another one of the pieces of the puzzle that's going to talk people into coming to our side, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I mean, one of the, one of the things that's interesting is um, in my last, my last classes, I took a poll how many of them actually know what Google Plus is and how many of them use it um, and where they actually are because college kids uh, and even people my age I can't find them in Google Plus and don't get I love I love the interesting conversation that happens on Google Plus but I've had a lot of conversations with uh, Jesse Wudillo about this that uh, he thinks they're not in Google Plus because they don't think it's fun and I'm trying to prove him wrong. Um, they're all in Snapchat. Uh, 
for whatever reasons they decide to be there. Uh, you know what's what's interesting? I want to interject really quick because it's right. I, I was doing research because about demographics on on Google Plus for another hangout. Fifty percent of everyone that's on is under the age of twenty four. Which really? it's, which is where interesting because where are they? I don't know. Right? right? Like, is that crazy? I can't, that, I can't does that boggle your mind? That fifty percent, fifty percent are under twenty four. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's really. I don't know where they are either. I don't know where they are either. It I definitely don't see the older crowd here. Yeah, I, I don't. So I do. I mean, I feel like everybody's. I'm not older, but like, yeah, I, I would agree with you, Alex. Uh, that yeah, I mean, where are yeah, what are they, where are they? I mean, I don't even see communities. But you know, I feel I feel like we don't see them anywhere. I don't see them on Facebook anymore. I don't see them on Twitter anymore. Largest, you know, um, the biggest, the largest uh, demographic growing on on Twitter is between like 45 and 65. I mean, it's it's interesting. Yeah, they're they're on totally different Vine and, and mm -hmm. Snapchat, and it's different. Well, but I think yeah, once as that. soon as their parents and grandparents started using it, they fled. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you don't want mom to see. Yeah, <laughs> which is, and I think a lot of them recognize. They, they see these social spaces as purely social, and that's the other thing that I want to show them is that, you know, these, these social spaces, they are social, but they can also be used for business purposes, and that doesn't mean you have to go to a place like LinkedIn that's purely business. You can mm -hmm. still be yourself. You can still be a person and make those business connections that you're looking for because I think a lot of college kids are like, I, it happened to me. They get their undergraduate degree and they're like, all right, who wants to hire me? And it's like, no, it doesn't work like that anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. um, They're not setting up like, you know, uh, job fairs and stuff to come recruit you anymore. It's not like well, that. Well, the interesting, they do. I've seen a lot of job fairs um, at different universities, but the kids don't go. It's okay. like, okay. they, I don't, I don't know. They, um, they have this, false idea that once they get their degree they're set and uh, I think it's partially our fault um, but I'm here to be the wake-up call to be like no guys sorry <laughs> <laughs> well yeah I mean somebody has to be a plumber too guys you know I mean everybody has a degree these days I and mean, the world can't run so I mean I think that's the reality you know I mean, everybody's on, on a level playing field so hard to automate uh, plumbing right <laughs> Oh my God! Well, I'm, I'm going to be the, of, I'm the automation uh, maps that go into you know if, if this happens it goes this way and if it this happens it goes that way. That was the mental note I just. Had. I would if it was me if I had to do it all over again yes I would not have joined the military and yeah. I would have gone into a um, probably would have gone into a, a trade when I first graduated high school. For uh -huh. sure. Yeah. My my father did some plumbing and he tried to teach it to me. He was an electrician and plumber and he was very good at everything. But when we were doing some plumbing, he said, "There's two lessons you have to know about plumbing. The first two important things is, well, poop runs downhill, and don't bite your fingernails." Oh <laughs> God! Oh, chef! <laughs> some good ones today. Oh my God! Uh, we have oh. a comment here from Tiffany on that note. Let me throw this up. <laughs> Oh, where are we at here? Uh, the issue I've run into in getting people over to G Plus from Facebook is Facebook is so integrated into people's lives. You use it to log in everywhere, and it's so mainstream that people are very unwilling to make the switch. There's a huge learning curve uh, to G Plus too. You know, we yeah. hear that all the time, and that's a lot of that's because the Google keeps changing things so much. Tiffany needs to talk to uh, B Billy Funk, who was just in here, and uh, Scott Bueller because. They've been bringing people over over from Facebook for a couple months now, and uh, they have an awesome tool and training to and and uh, sort of training platform that they're using for those people. And you know, just like you, the the same fears that you're having. I mean, the reality is when you say Facebook is so integrated into people's lives, no, it's not. It's on an island. I mean, Google, Google Plus is what's integrated into your life. I mean, what does Facebook have to do with anything really? Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, hook up with Billy Funk and, and Scott Bueller cool, is a cool guy. If, if you get, have you guys seen him, his posts and stuff? Randy, you must know him, right? Of course. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> is he, he's, he's doing okay. his first HOA today, isn't he? He's on David's show right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, I for, I'm forgetting her first name, but Blaine. Um, Amanda. Yeah, so she's got that G plus to follow. I think it's G plus to follow. Because um, she's going to make a list of people to follow in, in 2014. 
So I've been I've been pushing um, Scott Bueller all all day. So I, I I think everybody should get on board with that. If you haven't seen his stuff, look at it. He he's a cool guy. He's a really cool guy. Really nice person, and, and crazy intelligent, um, hard worker, and uh, so yeah, that's my that's my G plus to follow. Wow. And uh, on our show, we're having a special Christmas show on Monday night, and uh, Billy and Scott are giving away two plus mastermind memberships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and those aren't cheap. It's, no. Those are a hundred bucks, okay? And they're giving away on the show, so we're really excited about that. Yeah, you're all, those people will also be the first ones to have it, and I mean, Scott's going to kind of, you know, really kind of walk you through because Cir- Circuloscope's still going, you know, undergoing some changes, so. They're going to be really involved. It's not like it's a you know tool that's going to be pushed out, I and mean, they're going to be involved with it, depending on what those changes are with Circlescope. So, um, yeah, very cool, exciting. You're giving away a Chromebook too. I want a Chromebook. <laughs> yeah. We love the new commercial. Microsoft has a commercial we saw on today, and it was like, oh, you can't use Chromebook for uh, going on the internet. You can't use Chromebook for this. You can't use Chrome. I'm going, well, what Chromebook are they talking about? Yeah, they, right. they don't have the internet. It's a, it's just a lump on the, a lump of the log or something. I don't know what they saying. Great, ah. great, that yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am like I love so I, I actually have a Windows 8 phone. Now this sounds great. This sounds ridiculous because no one has a Windows 8 phone. I think that even came up during the state of social media uh, the other day. I think Dustin was like, well, who has one of those? And I actually have one. Because in real estate, I've always used Outlook for my um, my customer relations management because I've just always tagged and I've kept you know it's just a great system, and it's you know it's right on your desktop. So I and there's nothing there's no app on Google that that it really you know is native to to Outlook. So I actually have the phone, and and you know it's here's my question: Why can't I see my Gmail email? On the same page as my, as Google Plus, why why do I not have any notification of that? Does anybody else ever feel that way? Why do I have to have two two tabs open? What's going on, right? Do you think this, Randy? I see you laughing. Well, well, you know, I don't even have a cell phone anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my. Are you serious? Yeah. It's been over a year. I mean, wow. We work from home. Function? Why do we need a phone? <laughs> See, everybody else is getting rid of their home phones and keeping their cell phones. He's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, God, I, yeah, oh, I'm over IP now. <laughs> by the way, I want to say hello to Michael Julia. He's our Canadian friend. He's a very, very nice person. Oh, good. Hey, Mike. Well, if Annabelle likes him, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> I haven't seen that name either. I've seen uh, Lori was on I, that Lori um, Saliata. She was on yes. uh, last night with uh, yeah, was it last night? No, it was Wednesday night. Uh, Wade Harmon's um, his new relationship uh, relationship marketing show, and uh, that was the day that that Hangouts were going so awry. That's another thing. I mean, what you know? Come on, like Google really. I know that you can fix this stuff. Like, you're know, changing the world. Like, what, what's going on? You know, like, why? Wh- I, I couldn't get to your hangout last week, Chef. Remember, I know. I, I couldn't find the link forever. They, they keep changing things. And, you know, they're, they're just working the bugs out, you know. And we, we do have to remember that it's free and that, you know, they're trying and they're, and, and they're playing. You know, I, I think sometimes they got guys in there and they just tell them to have fun with it. And they come up with what really seems like a good idea until they actually implement it. And then people start screaming and they go, oh my god, all right. <laughs> yeah. So, I think the new format for Hangouts is going to be a really good tool as soon as they work it out a little bit more and, and get some changes in there. Do you think it's going to be completely over on YouTube? What do you think, Randy? I was wondering what you thought about that too. Like, Are they going to move it all over? I think personal is going to be on Google Plus and business is going to be on YouTube. Well, yeah. you have the YouTube Live that you can use. Yeah, YouTube Live is a much more powerful platform according to Ronnie Vincer. So um, I think yeah. YouTube Live, you're going to see your concerts and all those, you know, the big business stuff is going to be over there. You're going to see the smaller shows, like ours, everything that we do over is going to be on Google Plus Hangouts. Yeah. Business Hangouts, are, there's a lot of bugs with that too. Yeah. A lot of bugs with that too. 
I don't know. I, yeah, it feels like they could do better, but I guess you're right, Chef. I shouldn't, I shouldn't ask too much. Well, you know, it, it is. I think being here since the beginning, I've seen so many changes on Google Plus that uh, anymore I just take a deep breath and go, okay, you know, if things will work itself out eventually. You know, they are frustrating sometimes. And more of the fact that you don't know until you go to use something that has changed. Like usually they do Thursday nights before my Friday show, and I'll get all set to go on the show, and I'll go, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. No. Yeah. How do you start this now? You know, <laughs> and I'm and I'm pinging Ronnie Bencer like crazy, hoping that he's, he's on. Um, so you know, it, it, I, he's I always called him. fired up about it, isn't he? Oh my God, he's he's he is. Thank God for Ronnie Bencer. <laughs> he's fired up this week. <laughs> oh yeah, he has. Well, they've been doing so many things. Like we were going over something last night, and in his hangout for his mastery. Uh, for his mastery thing, and uh, they changed it back before we could review it. Uh, for how the comments were all those group comments that they had for a while, and somebody said, "Ronnie, that's not there." And he goes, "What? What?" And he goes, "Mess with the wrong guy in that one, huh?" Oh, so can, well, he had been complaining. He'd been screaming about it. So he said, "Evidently, someone heard him." So um, I'm glad they listen. They do listen. They are very responsive. You just don't always know who you're talking to that has what authority to make some changes. But you know, I've never seen. I, I talk to Google reps, and they take notes, and I'm like, "Really?" You're listening to me, you know. You're taking notes, so you know I'm impressed at that. But Google's they, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah they, they really are. Well, I love the first time I asked him about Google, and you know, this one of them laughed and said, oh, "This was in the early days." And I was talking to their reps, and he says, "Oh, Dennis, we don't want to be the biggest social media on the planet. That's not our goal. We want to integrate ourselves into every aspect of your life." Yeah. <laughs> They didn't, they didn't even want to do social. They they like, screwed it up a couple of times before they 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 got to Google Plus. Well, I was in one hangout and we figured out. I figured out right then. They already knew it that the the Google Plus is only to improve um, their Google uh, search engine. Totally. Well, they were losing hits to Facebook. People started oh. the minute people started searching for things on Facebook. Google said no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. And they pulled it right back. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Larry Fournier is in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Vic Gundautra wisely says that Google Plus is changing every day. Yes, it is. Yep, and we're happy for that. And let me tell you, since you know Anna and I have been on it, oh, I was on it from like the first month in, and and I've been taking it serious since September 2011. And nobody, absolutely nobody, can touch Anna and I in Panama. You do a search for Panama, guess what? We're going to show up on the first page. And You're the only Google person verified in, in Latin America, aren't you? Or something, <laughs> right? <laughs> that, that helps. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, not all, it's not all that. It's your content, too. So. Yes, it well, is. Well, you make it consistent. You make it consistent. Anna and I, we post at least one thing per day each about Panama. Yeah. So it might not be on my personal profile. It might be in one of my communities, but at least once a day. And we do that consistently every day. With hashtags. With hashtags and all kinds of stuff. You can't touch us. I don't care. I don't care if it's a media company coming up behind us. They're not going to be able to catch up. Yeah. Well, Panama's got to be about the size of New Jersey. You're going to run out of stuff sooner or later. No. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half million. We're, we're three and a half million people here. That's it. Okay. <laughs> No, that's great advice. I think you said that, Randy. Um, maybe in a in a in a branding show we're doing with Mia, but it would you know pick. It, I think you said pick three things, you know, and and if you know that you that you really you know have that passion about and you're consistent with with posting about and and uh, you know focusing on. And I think that that that's really really good advice. And you know also I get I. And I think I just recently turned it off, but for a long time I was getting pinged for all of your all of your stuff, guys, because even the community stuff, because I was using it, you know, just watching in terms of strategy. I don't even create content, you know, I, I curate and, and and do whatever. Um, but I was just kind of watching, you know, you guys, you do, you post in different areas, and and I was kind of watching what you guys do for, um, you know, just so I, to advise clients. You guys do a really nice job. And I, I what, what tool are you using? What are you using? Um, All my I just got. I was getting. I I I got every. I was just getting everything. It depended on where you uh, on. I'll have to show you everything I got. That was. I, I just turned it off recently. I have the emails. That's interesting because I don't. I don't put everything out. I don't ever inform anybody of anything. So you must. I, be yeah, I mean, they're sending me. I'll have to send them to you. Okay. I mean, I don't. I don't think I no tool because there wasn't a. 
we didn't have steady, uh, why can't I ever think of the second word? Steady development? Is it development? Steady demand. Steady demand. I don't know why I can't. I keep doing that wrong. Uh, which is a fantastic tool. You know what? It's Ben Fisher's birthday. I, I just really know that. Morning, I know. Happy yeah. birthday, Ben. I saw, so I saw it on this morning on LinkedIn. Um, and I started to make a GIF. Like you can go, like, and I, 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 you know, I started to make a GIF. And then I got lost on YouTube somewhere, like with birthday candles and a cake, and, and then I and then I never posted. <laughs> I just realized that <laughs> it's actually girl. a birthday, and he's awesome. But uh, yeah, no, I don't have a tool. I'll have to show you. I'll have to show you what I have. But yeah, you guys are. I I would see. I see Anna's, and I, and obviously, you know, I mean, I don't speak Spanish, so um, I didn't know what they said per se. <laughs> but I know that you guys uh, that yeah, you, um, you know, definitely engage with a lot of different groups. Awesome. Yeah, and Annabelle was actually interviewed on a Mexican radio station last week because they are seeing her stuff in Mexico too. Yeah. Um, in Spain also. Yeah, in Spain also. They're getting, she's huge over in Spain. Yeah, I'm dominating the Spanish community. <laughs> <laughs> it only makes me a little bit sad because I, everything you do is in Spanish. You know, they're monopolizing all your time. I haven't. You no, know, but I, I'm still um, posting in English or what I'm doing, everything yes. that I I make it coming in English and in Spanish, then I can um, still keep in contact and in touch with different people, you know, the English and the Spanish community, which yeah, I love. I don't know if it has to do with time zones, but I know in the morning, typically, you know, my time anyway, I usually see in Spanish, and then as the day goes on, it's it, it, it's more English, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's going. But no, Anna was on the first. So I, the first hangout on air I ever watched was Mia Voss, and um, Anna was on, and uh, and David Oldenburg, and um, David left because his show's obviously right after Mia's, and uh, and it was just you and Mia, and and it was it was a great hangout. And I haven't seen you on since I don't think, and that must have been I don't know September, October, early October. Yeah, because I'm focusing more in the Spanish community. I mean, I have, I have a Google Plus show called Social Media Guía con Angel Arcis, which I, I interview the Spanish community that work in the marketing industry, which I, I love. You know, I met so many great people, like good folks, that they're very, very uh, important Spanish community, which I love. I so know. that's my, my, what I'm focusing right now. I still love my English speakers. Oh, yeah. Forward. No, maximize that, rock that out. I'm just sad because you know we lose you, so that that makes me sad. But no, yeah. it's okay. I still participate with the English community. Oh, I know, but I ha you haven't been on another hangout, right? You haven't. You uh, haven't been oh on yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So she just does her own hangouts. Mm -hmm. She does her own where she interviews people. That's all. Yeah, and and you tape, right? It's not you don't do a lot of live. You you tape them, right? I remember that. Yeah, I, I I do it live, um, where I also doing it. I started to make videos for myself, you know, right. um, making marketing tips in Spanish, obviously, and I love it. So I people started to like it also. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good to do different stuff. If um, if the hangout doesn't work, maybe you can create videos, or maybe create great infographics, or maybe take great photos. Um, do whatever you want. Do whatever is good for you. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing different stuff. You do it all. Yeah, I'm an adventurer, so I like to do a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, you do, you do. You do. It doesn't cost us any money for graphic design. I got her. Hey. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. But by the way, if, if somebody needs an overlay or a photo cover for any of these social media platforms, please contact me or contact my husband. I will help you. So. <laughs> Sounds good. I love that. I'm sure you're gonna have some people to take care of. plug. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, we have a couple comments here too. Uh, here we go. Michael Drulliard. Hello, Anna and Randy. Looking good. Google Hangouts has helped me spread my educational stuff on Panama. Greatest platform ever. I can get that. Jenny Feel. Thanks for stopping by, Jenny. Thanks for inviting us to bring snacks for the plumber reference. Sorry about that, Jenny. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, I know. We won't go into that. And uh, <laughs> Tiffany. Uh, thanks for uh, the information. Wants we'll to know if she can get some links to those people you mentioned, um, Scott and uh, Billy. 
Billy. Billy, you can put links up for him later in the... And uh, Gene Layton chimed in. Uh, Chef Dennis Lilly, our new series, Blogger's Guide to Using Google Effectively, is certainly bringing more people over. And she means from Facebook, uh, we've got the template to move. So, I feel yeah, like we'll, I've seen her. Yeah, I've seen that that um, that Blogger's Guide. Um, well, I, I've been blogging. I, I wrote a series on it, and I, you know, I'll write, and I kept trying to bring them over. And then Gene and I were talking uh, with more people on Facebook, so we decided to do a series. So our first show was last week. Very basic. Very, uh, we're starting from the ground up and just helping them develop. You know, it was on profiles. It's a half an hour. It it's short enough so people who are rushed can watch it. And uh, we're just trying to give them enough information to really keep moving forward on Google Plus. What do you mean bring them over though? I mean, they're obviously not blogging right on Facebook. No, but but most of their interaction is on Facebook. Uh, you know, I've been preaching the gospel of Google for almost two years now and uh, some of them are getting tired of listening to me talk to I know my wife is definitely getting tired of listening to me talk about <laughs> she just walks away when I start now um, but uh, so Jean was a was a you know she's got a lot of good connections there people really like her Jean is a wonderful person if you guys don't follow her you need to uh, she's a neuropathic physician and uh, she really really posts some good and, and um, gluten-free and she posts some really excellent stuff so she's a good person to follow so you know we're just trying to to make them feel more comfortable you know because the, the, there is a learning curve they come over and they try to use it like Facebook and they fail you know chef one little tip that I Anna and I use is um we share our posts our Google Plus posts I'll tweet my posts I'll scoop my posts and scoop it mm -hmm. and I'll also turn them on Facebook so people will click on the post in Facebook and it goes to the Google Plus post so slowly but surely, what's that old saying? You know, you, you get someone slowly. You mm -hmm. don't try to force people to use it. Just get them accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, all of a sudden, one day, they're like, oh, I'm spending more time on Google+. Plus." Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, you, that happened to me. You know, I've been sharing a lot of my posts from Google+, Plus on Facebook, and um, some of my uh, Facebook friends, they are going to Google+, Plus, you know? So do you, what do you do, a picture and then just a link, Randy? Because it looks no. like crap if you just put the link in. Or did it, did it change? It looks fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was weird, like, um, I even share GIFs over on Facebook. Yes, they don't work as a GIF, but you see the image and you click on it and it's a full GIF on the Google Plus post. Huh. See, I feel like I was trying, I was trying to share, and I guess it probably was a while ago. Now I, you know, now I just don't even try. <laughs> but, um... But I was—I feel like I tried to do it a while ago and it wasn't working. So maybe maybe that's changed a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. That's good to know. It changed. It changed with the update to Facebook when they updated the image size. Remember, okay. it used to just be a thumbnail. And when it was a thumbnail, it didn't work. But you know, I think I, what, I read an article. It must be like three months ago yeah. now that this change happened, where they made the images larger. That could very well be. Yeah. Yeah. I, they had to because Google has a great image. Yeah. Great graphics. I'm loving the new things everybody's posting with Christmas time, and it has lights on the trees or the snow, the effects. Yeah. So MySpace-ish. That's what yeah. I'm curious. It kind of looks like MySpace. Let, I, let, I, let. I tried to make a gift. Yeah, Billy, Billy Funk has tried to teach me how to make a gift, and I, 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 it's just it's not. I can't do it. I don't have the attention span. Once I get on YouTube, I, I'm gone. I'm just gone. There's so much going on. I can't, I can't pick one, and I, I can't focus, so that's not going to be my, but I, but I like them. I had, a, I had a great one yesterday. There was like a, an elephant jumping on a trampoline, and every single time I went by it, when I streamed past it, I would laugh. It's, it's really good. It's good. <laughs> really well, speaking good. of Billy Funk, here we go. Uh, I love your posts that are in Spanish, Annabelle. I click on translate, and it's like they were in English the entire time. Yeah, Ooh, that's great. Yeah. He says Scott. He said uh, Scott Bueller's doing doing great on uh, David Oldenburg's show too. So oh yeah, good, he go. was so nervous. He, <laughs> yeah, was he was really it. nervous. He was really nervous. I knew it'd be fine. I'm glad he stopped by here too. I'm All just right. glad that people are going to get to know him. So Scott Absolutely. Bueller, that is. Absolutely, we'll have to have him on here as well. <laughs> you should, Jeff. and and Billy. <laughs> yeah, you definitely should have Billy Funk on. He's he's a rep. But um, mm -hmm. Scott Bueller, yeah, he hasn't. He's kind of an unknown. So, uh, but I'm sure I'm sure he did a good job over there. He's funny. I'm sure. Well, you know, I always like to. You know, the best part of this show for me is bringing my friends together from different areas, and I say that all the time. It's about creating community 
about enlarging our network of people and just getting to know each other as people. You know, sometimes we don't always get the chance to do that when we're just, you know, we get to know each other, but this is really an opportunity when we can talk to each other and feel relaxed and just have a good time, you know, not, nothing in particular. Um, and just enjoy the time together and you guys all get to meet each other if you don't know each other already you know this is more of a, a one kind of a group that we have on today but a lot of times you know we have different interest groups on and it's really fun to see them interact and get excited you know talking to each other but I, I really do love that about your show chef that it's very that it's very relaxed I, I like that a lot um, about your hangout um, you know and I think that there's you know there's, I love you know I love Mia's show and I love David Oldenburg's show and I I like these shows that are really shows, you know, and you come on and you announce everybody and you, you know, kind of formal. But at the same time, I really, you know, the, 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 I start to watch more and more sort of that casual kind of, you know, get, get to know each other kind of hangouts. Um, and uh, I've always appreciated that about your, the way, the, your format. And uh, it's cool. It's very cool. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Well, you know, you always learn something. And you yeah. know, I, I always learn something, and that's the best part for me too, is I'm learning. But you know, there's always information that gets shared. There's always good content that gets shared, and and at the same time, you're you're seeing people as they really are, and not just uh, you know keeping them in one one spot. Everybody has so much to offer, and they have so much information, so many different interests. And that's what I tell my food bloggers. You know, you do other things beside blog about food. You know, forget that now go somewhere else, interact with another interest group, and believe me, sooner or later they're going to go, and what else do you do? You have a food blog? Oh, everybody eats. So we're a we're win-win no matter what we do. We can be rocket scientists, or I was mentioned this morning, I might have gone to topiary if I had known how much work was going into blogging. You know, so, so I said, oh yeah, little trees, happy little trees. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it. Blogging is a lot of work. Blogging oh. is a lot of work. It's uh, insane. Brilliant. I uh, I can't ever uh, focus enough to, to I can never get it all the way done to post it, but it just never really happened for me. <laughs> the more time I spent on it, the more I would go over it with a fine tooth comb, and uh, it would just never go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just the opposite. My anyway, right? says you have to do 21 things after you're done writing it. So. Yeah, I, I just write what I think, and sometimes it doesn't come out right, and I have to reread it a few times. But uh, it know. is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, it's been a great show, and uh, we're. I'm sure everybody. Thanks for taking time out, especially before the holidays, and spending some time with me. And and uh, I know you all had a lot of things you had to do, but you know, I really appreciate you coming on today with me and spending some time and getting to know each other. Uh, if any of you has any last things to say, now's the time, and we're gonna. Help. Alex, well, anything you'd like to share? I uh, I just want to say thanks for having me. Um, and I did not know actually any of the people that were on this show before I came on, so this was an awesome experience for me to get to know some new people on Google Plus. Alex, yeah, let's do a hangout. I, I would, you know, women, you know, we're we're outnumbered two to one on here, so uh, I'd love to spend a little bit more time sometime for sure. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. I love the stuff you're doing. I, I took a look at your page. Um, oh, thanks. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Great. And Logan, thanks for being here too. And it's nice to see you. And I'll see you when you come down to Tampa. Yeah, um, yeah, def I really, yeah, I really want to do that, Chef. It'll be fun. Absolutely. Sure. I want to meet your wife. You know? Absolutely, she will be coming with us. I know. I talk about her all the time. She's very patient with me, and she's very, very good to me. And uh, uh, she doesn't quite know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, but she likes it. And like I told her, I tell everybody when I started this whole thing, I said I just want to be a household name. That's all. <laughs> what do you want? I said I don't want f fortune. I'm, I'm looking for the just. Everybody to know who they am when they say Chef Dennis and that. And I want now my next goal is to be on the Ellen Show. So I know, I yeah. know. That's a good goal. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to somebody yesterday, and they said, "Don't you want to be on Oprah?" I said, "No, she scares me. She'd ask questions. She asks hard questions." <laughs> right. <laughs> I want to be on the I Ellen Show and play those fun games that she does and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, Chef? Every I, everyone thinks very fondly of you here on Google thank Plus. You. We're lucky to have you. So thank, thank you. you very much. My pleasure. And Randy and Annabelle, I am so excited to have you on with me today, and uh, thank you so much for taking time and bringing Panama to us. Well, thank you, Chef, and uh, we want to invite everyone out to our show Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's the Christmas giveaway show, and we've got you know Google Chromebooks, we got the Seven Pillars book giveaways, we have uh, Plus Mastermind by Scott Bueller, Billy Funk giveaways, we got Steady Demand membership to give away. Uh, Craft Star is going to come out and give um, their people on Craft Star are going to have a whole bunch of stuff to give away to uh, people that are watching the show. 
Uh, we have uh, about 150 people uh, already confirmed to come to the show. Uh, we have all weekend. We're hoping to hit about 1,000. So this is going to be huge. We're, we're really, really looking forward to it. The wine's going to be flowing. My eggnog is going to be ready to go. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, God. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be a killer show, definitely. Everybody, you know, tune in for that, and uh, you might—you never know what you might come home with, right? Yeah, exactly. with something really awesome. Great stuff. Great yeah, absolutely. Stuff. All right, everyone, thank you again for being here. It was a wonderful time here on Good Day Google Plus, and as always, it's a great day on Google Plus when you get to spend it with your friends. So uh, happy holidays, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Thanks, Chef. Thank Thanks. you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.